Hello, welcome to this Olivet School Friday Chapel. Our song to begin the service is going to be All Things So Bright and Beautiful, so please join in if you know this one. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Let us pray. Choose this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, as in heaven, so upon the earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Amen. So what I'd like to say to you today is very, very simple. Sometimes we feel like the Lord's forgotten about us, or like He doesn't care about us. But that is never, ever true. He never forgets you. He never forgets any of us, not for the teeniest, tiniest little moment. And here's a part of his word where he tells us exactly that. In the book of Isaiah, it says, But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, and my Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Even they may forget, but I will not forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the palm of my hand. That's it right there. That little reading starts out with Zion, which means the church, and so you can think of that as, as all of us, saying, the Lord has forgotten me, and my Lord has forsaken me. And sometimes, like I said, sometimes that's how we feel. We feel like the Lord can't be paying attention to me right now, because if he was, well, this bad stuff wouldn't be happening. But then, in that part of the word, it says, can a woman forget her nursing child? and not have compassion on the son of her womb. So what do you think? Does your mom ever forget you? Does she ever wake up in the morning and say, oh, I forgot I had children? Does that ever happen? 
No, no, of course not. When somebody has a baby or, or several children, those kids are one of the most important parts of their life, and they never forget that. And does your mom or your dad ever stop having compassion on you, which means ever stop loving you? Probably not. And the Lord says, in his word, he says, your mother, your father, they never forget you. And even if they did, even if that were possible, he loves us even more. He will never, ever, not for a moment, forget us. And it says that he has us written on the palms of his hands. So it's almost like he has our names written on his hands. And so whenever he does anything, whenever he, wherever he is, whatever he's doing, he'll see, oh, right, that's that person, that person that I love. It's like he's always thinking of us. And I don't think that he really has the names of everybody in the world actually written on his hand. That had to be very small writing. But the idea is that we're so close to him. The thought of us is so close to him that we might as well be written on the palm of his hand. The Lord is never going to forget any of us. Amen. Will you join with me in saying our recitation from the book of Isaiah, chapter 42? I will make the darkness light before them and crooked places straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. Amen. Please bow your heads for a blessing. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And we'll now sing O Canada, so please join in for the national anthem. Thank you for tuning in. Have a lovely weekend and the Lord be with you.